Ashley says Nick's too impressed with fake chests. So like, Ashley, look at those. That's what yours should look like. And after he questioned his blind day, so are they fake or are they real? She was too real to rate. Everything was perfect except she didn't have fake boobs. Meanwhile, Ashley's blind date She's totally proportionate. Put Nick under the knife. I wonder what uh, he feel like if she asked him to get a penis enlargement. I don't have a problem there, so she doesn't ask. Will she still romance with a king of implants? I'm going to get some eventually, but not for him. Or have a change of heart. What? Welcome to Change of Heart. When today's couple they first met, he had a girlfriend and she was dating his football teammate. Well, even though they were seeing other people, they were digging each other's tight ends. So they both sacked their former lovers and they've been seeing each other exclusively now for the past six months. Please give it up for Ashley Russell and Nick Tavaloni. Welcome to the show. Now, Ashley, let me start with you because you know when guys are going out with girls, they usually say, oh, you're the best, you're all those good things. What's Nick tell you? Well, Nick tells me he's the best. No. Oh, Nick. No. He has, he has no. the nice body, the nice car, no, the money. No, I don't. We I tell you're good we looking laying, all the time. We were laying in bed the other day, and he was no. like, you're never going to find a boyfriend as no. perfect as me. <laughs> He's good looking all the time. He's so a bulker too. His time. big muscles. Oh, yeah. 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 No, no. So we were going, hold on, Nick. We were going to the beach, and me and all my friends are there. And Nick's going with his friends, and he was like, "Well, mm. when me and my friend walk up, and the whole beach stops no, and stares, no. I'm here." No, as a joke. Nice. Yeah, right. All right. Now, actually, uh, Nick says he's the best. How is he when it comes to kissing? Nick doesn't kiss unless we're gonna have sex. That's the only time. <laughs> He doesn't, he, I guess his ex-girlfriend always had to kiss or always yeah. had to be on top of him, so now I don't get any kisses. I got kind of Nick, what's that about? I got kind of smothered in my last relationship, so I just, I don't really notice it when I, but I guess we just yeah. kiss when we're going to have I sex. See. So the kissing, <laughs> kissing does lead to something, and I understand though, actually when you first came in and interviewed with us, you were talking about uh, things can get a little painful when oh, you're yeah. in the bed with Ashley. Oh yeah. So uh, she gets a little too wild, I guess, let's take a listen. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I have to stop her. I have to stop her because she'll get like a piece of skin and just like rip at it. And I'll just be trying to concentrate and <laughs> I have to stop and be like, Ashley, and like physically remove her hand. And be like, Ashley, calm down. Yeah. Ashley, what's that all about? He doesn't give me foreplay, so I, got, I gotta no, hurt him. It's not foreplay. I got marks to prove it. Oh man, look at that mark. Look at that. You're all bruised and everything now. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nick, moving out of the bedroom, how, how does Ashley react when you guys get into an argument? Oh, she cannot tell me what the problem is. Because you don't listen. She cannot like, tell blah, 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 me. No, she and has to write down. She has to write down on paper. I'll have, I'll, I'll get done. I'll wake up in the morning after she spends the night, and I'll get a note, a two-page note <laughs> on my desk. Because he never oh, listens to me. Nothing's you, ever a problem this, to him. It's never a big deal. You do that, and this, this really matter. bothered me. Matter. This really actually. bothered me, and. You, she just can't tell me to. That's because nothing mm. bothers Nick. Like, everything's okay in Nick's well, life. Just, well, 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 Nick, let me ask you this since we're on the subject of arguments. What does she do that starts them? Oh, she's always accusing me of something. Always. I cannot. Like, what? like look, if, yeah. if I'm out, if we're out somewhere and I run into a friend that I've known okay, for a long time. Okay, a friend. Okay, a guy. If it's a guy, she don't care. If it's a girl Females. and I talk to her for like, oh, five seconds. Oh, like 45 who's minutes. Who's we'll that? You know her? And who's there's that? girls like, like, all over her. him you for like 45 number. minutes no, 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 straight. No, no, no. And he's like, it's just my friend. Yeah, right. It oh, is okay. just my friend. All right. Now, uh, Ashley, in that same interview that we did, you actually told us about an obsession that Nick has uh, that gets on your nerves totally. Let's hear what that's all about. Everywhere we go, it's press. Boobs, boobs. Just fake ones. Fake, yeah, not real ones. He wants fake boobs. I'm sure on there, he wants, if he has a date, he wants her to have fake boobs. It's all now, Ashley, what does Nick do when you're actually out together and he spots fake breasts? When we go out, he'll make sure I see him. He'll be like, Ashley, look at those. Those are huge. Those are great size. You should just like that. That's what yours should look like. I just I want, It's disgusting. I, I just care. noticed and yeah, saw that good body. Good. Yeah. Now, that, does he ask you and try to encourage you to actually do oh, that? Oh, yeah, he would love to get some. And I'm going to get some eventually, but not for him. Uh, for you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, uh, Nick, uh, enough about the complaints for just a second here. What's actually working for you in this relationship? Oh, she's like the most caring girlfriend I've ever had. Aww. She does, I mean, she'll do anything for me. She's <laughs> now, 
Ashley, I know we don't have to pump up his ego any more than it already is, but, but what do you like about this guy? We, just, we get along really well. You know, we can communicate to each other. We have fun together. It's just yeah. easy. And yeah, that's important. Absolutely. Now, Nick, you guys were both uh, actually seeing other people when you first hooked up. Why risk it all again and do these dates? Well, I'm um, going to San Diego in the fall, and um, I just want to make sure it's worth the long-distance relationship and worth all that before we go on any longer. Okay, that's an important test. We'll see if you survive it. Up next, Nick got to give his date the all-important bikini test. Oh, everything was fine in the bathing suit. Hot body, all muscle. We're here with Nick and Ashley. Now, when we asked Nick to describe his ideal date, he told us that he wanted a gal that was five foot six, weighed 115 pounds, had a fit, tight body, and fake boobs. <laughs> well, we dug up a babe who fit the bill in all but one way. They're not fake. So let's give it up for Liz Frederick. <laughs> So, Nick, when you met uh, Liz face-to-face, -face, did you think we did a good job filling out the order? Oh, yeah, I did a perfect job. Uh, she's beautiful, brown hair, blue eyes, and nice body. Uh, everything was perfect, except she didn't have fake boobs. But well. That's all right. That's <laughs> that all was right. okay, though? Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Liz, what about you? Did you get some insight into Nick's personality on the first phone call when you talked to him? Yeah, I found out he's a total mama's boy. Mama? This guy a mama's this boy? This guy is a mama's boy. We were talking about where we should go for dinner, and he's like, I don't really know L.A., so I'm going to ask my mom. And it was cute. I'm a daddy's girl, so mm -hmm. it was cute. So you can understand, understand that, right? Yeah. yeah, but what about when you saw him, though? Did he look like a mama's boy to you? Oh, not at all. Not <laughs> at all. I was actually, I was a little scared when I first saw him. A little intimidating. It's, yeah, he must be about, like, 280 pounds. I expected someone with hair. Right. <laughs> and, um, but so he shows he, up and it's a little different, up, right? But, you know, cute. He's very cute. Great like personality. So. Now, not only did his uh, physical appearance take you by surprise, but I understand that his car that he drove up in or his vehicle did too. Well, what was that about? Totally pimped out Ford oh. F-150. The thing must be 10 feet off the ground. The truck with the big wheels. And big wheels, big stereo system, everything. Right. Yeah. So every time I wanted to get in the car and I'm wearing skirt and heels, I had to grab on. He picked me up and basically tossed me into the car every yeah. time I wanted to get right. in. Well, nice. And now, Nick, I understand that mom actually picked out a nice sushi restaurant for you. So there you are at dinner with Liz. And how was conversation with her different than with Ashley? Um, conversation with her was great. I mean, everything went perfect. Ashley talks about cheerleading a lot at uh, hey, a. At least dinner. I'm not talking about, you know, myself going uh, out bulking <laughs> with my buddies at, at uh, the beach. She just, I mean, and it, it gets annoying, I mean, hearing about that all the time. She didn't come up one time with mm -hmm. Liz, and she's been a cheerleader a long time. Right. Now, what about Liz? Does she seem like the, she'd be the type that would leave you an angry note the way Ashley does when you guys have an argument? No. No. Not uh, at all. No, Liz, uh, I could see coming through the door and getting a right hook to the face or something <laughs> like that. <I> mean, <laughs> she cut right to the punch. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't think any notes would be left. Right. Now, uh, Liz, I understand that Nick's not the only one in the family with this breast obsession. Are you going to tell us about that? <laughs> uh, when we <laughs> got after dinner, we got back in the car, and there was a message for him. So he's listening to this message, and he lets me hear it, and it's his sister going, so are they fake or are they real? <laughs> <laughs> so I tell him to call his sister back, and I grab the phone out of his hand, and I'm like, yeah, they're real. <laughs> all me. Yeah. All me. Oh. So she was really embarrassed, but she was really cool. Imagine. She just kind of laughed it off. Now, Nick, what about mom? Did she schedule some plans for you after sushi? No, actually, the night before I went out and I um, lost my ID. So I had no idea. I had no idea. We didn't have anything really planned for after that. So uh, we just went back to Liz's place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Liz, while you guys were hanging out, did you hear from Nick any about his uh, romance with Ashley? Yeah, he was basically telling me how he like walks all over her and she lets him. Ooh. Um, he was saying how she, he'll call her, she's about to go out with her friends, two minutes before she's about to leave, he'll call her and be like, oh, come hang out with me, and she goes. Just like that. Just like that. Ashley, is that an accurate portrayal? Are you that whipped? That's rough. Am I that whipped? I wouldn't call it whipped, but I'm a good girlfriend compared to his other girlfriends, so I guess if that's how he wants to say it. Okay. Now, Nick, I, I know you guys both went for a dive in Liz's pool. How, how'd she look in the bathing suit? Oh, everything was fine in the bathing suit. Everything was great in the bathing suit. Uh, yeah. Her legs, her breasts, everything was perfect. Everything was good in the bathing suit. 
Now, Liz, earlier Ashley was complaining. Nick's all cocky and everything. You saw him in his bathing suit. Does he have reason to be? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hot body, all muscle. Great. Mm-hmm. So, Liz, after he took a dip in your deep end there at the pool, uh, <laughs> I, I understand you actually listened to another voicemail message of his. Uh, tell us who that was. It was Ashley, and she was all, Hi, honey. Where are you? I guess you're still on your date. Call me this second. Oh, that, was because you're, that was because he said, call me as soon as you get done with your date so I can leave my date. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he, she was totally whining. And I was like, how do you deal with a whiner? And she was like, <laughs> Well, what about you, Nick? Did you go straight home after you got that message? Uh, no. Actually, we uh, went back up into her room and... Uh, <laughs> Hello. We watched a movie and I gave her a back massage. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And Liz? That's good. <laughs> You're doing good. She's all right, nice. I guess. Huh? And Liz, things. after the movie and the massage, how did you say goodnight? Um, I walked him to the door and I gave him a big hug and we're standing there and we're hugging and he's like, you know, I got to pull away. I got to go before something happens. <laughs> really? So, so. got to resist. <laughs> and, and Nick, how, how'd you rate your night overall? Oh, it was a 10. It was a great day. Yeah. One of the best dates I've ever been on in my life. Woo! One of the best ever. Yeah. All right. And Liz, did you get to get the feeling that you might see Nick again? Uh, well, actually, he asked me to go out with him a few nights later. Oh! But I had plans that night. So um, I didn't get to, but I'd definitely love to go out with him again. Yeah! Now, Ashley, did you know about that, that there might have been a second date when she was uh, available? Nothing surprised me with Nick. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, coming up next, we're going to find out how Ashley's date ended up getting a lap dance when they went out. It was dark and gaudy and naked ladies everywhere. Got a little hot. It took me about five minutes to get up out of that seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back. We just heard what happened on Nick's date with Liz. Now we're going to meet Ashley's date. Now, Ashley, we know Nick is obviously pretty cocky. Was he worried, though, about you going out with somebody else? No, he wasn't worried at all. He was, he was pretty sure they were going to hook me up with some skinny schmuck <laughs> that I wouldn't like at all. Didn't well, that's not what Nick. you asked for because you did ask for somebody like Nick. Big, brawny, beefy, tall, handsome, and all of that. Well, let's take a look, see how we did. Let's meet him. Here's Brandon Valsoni. <laughs> What do you think? How, how do you think he measures up to you? Oh, uh, it looks a little thick in the midsection. <laughs> oh. Right. All right, Brandon, what about you? When you first talked to Ashley on the telephone, what'd you have going on in your mind? What'd you picture? Actually, she was uh, kind of aggressive. I thought she was maybe a little bigger woman. I was kind of afraid. I was a like, little bigger? Yeah, a little bigger. I was, I was asking her uh, what she'd like to do. She's like, well, you give me some options and I'll pick. Like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> So, Brandon, what about when she showed up at the door? Did she scare you then? Oh, no. Look, she was so attractive, really nice and thin, nice tight clothes. I was kind of hoping it like a little colder at night. We, oh, I could imagine so. <laughs> it's a wonder why you're single making comments like that. Hey, well. <laughs> could be you next, buddy. Now, Brandon, we know that Nick would like her to one day get fake breasts. So what about you? Were you satisfied with what was there? Dude, she's totally proportionate. Looks really good. I was wondering what he'd yeah. feel like. I was wondering what uh, he'd feel like if she asked him to get a penis enlargement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have a problem there, so she doesn't ask. Okay. Uh, too much information sometimes, Nick. <laughs> uh, Ashley, obviously he was all into you. What about you? Were you into him? Yeah, he's good looking, nice arms. I'm an arm person. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. nice looking man. Yeah. That was good. So, Brandon, did Ashley pick the restaurant or you? Oh, I picked the restaurant. It was a nice little dark steak restaurant. It had a little fountain inside. It was kind of romantic. It was nice. Yeah. Nice setting. Yeah. And, and Ashley, would you describe the restaurant the same way? Uh, it was dark. Yeah. Dark yeah. and gaudy and <laughs> naked ladies everywhere. What? Yeah, every wall you looked at and naked ladies fountains and the oh, ho- yeah. okay. Artistic painting. Yeah, the, ho- the hostess was in a little French maid's outfit, boobs yeah. hanging out. It was okay. Okay. It's good food. So, Ashley, as you were having a conversation with Brandon over dinner, what was the biggest difference between the two guys' personalities? Brandon's just not cocky. He's content with little things. Little things please him. You know, he has a job. He works for his money. He works hard. He pays his bills. He's not spoiled. Right. I pay my bills. I work hard. I'm so big, <laughs> yeah. Are you accusing Nick of not working hard? Or? Yeah. He pays his bills. He's right. Okay. 
So a different attitude, though. Yeah. So actually, I understand that you were actually pretty impressed with Brandon's career choice. What, what is it? Brandon teaches disabled children, severely handicapped oh. children. That's very it. nice. It's a very compassionate. Very Now, Brandon, we heard Nick complain earlier that actually bores him to tears with all the cheerleading stories. Did you get an ear full of that? No, not actually. Uh, there wasn't too much cheerleading stories going on. We were pretty much on the same page, back and forth. It was really, it was like kind of old friends. It was nice. She was uh, one of the coolest girls I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. That yeah, was, it was nice. Yeah, really nice. All right. Now, Brandon, I, I understand that you did some bragging, though, yourself at dinner. What was that about? Actually, the conversation kind of turned towards the sexual end, and I told her uh, <laughs> I was the king of foreplay, and she had nothing to worry about. Oh, really? Do you think the king here could actually shake Ashley's pom-poms in the bedroom? Oh. I don't even think he could pull her. He couldn't get her that far anyways. I mean, he couldn't oh. even get a kiss. You think he'd never get a chance? Nah. And Brandon, what about after dinner? Any hot romantic spots? Yeah, actually, we went to uh, the Laserium. It's in Griffith Park. We watched the laser show. We kind of held hands. Kind of caressed her leg that a little like bit. Fun. Afterwards, we went outside and we looked over the city and the lights. It was really nice. I hugged her. It was a little cuddling. She put her head on my shoulder. It was nice. Right. It was kind of romantic. All right. Now, now we do know that Nick's date got a massage, Brandon. Anything uh, spicy like that between you and Ashley? Ashley threw me for a loop. She uh -oh. said uh, she she had never been to a strip club and she might like to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're like okay. <laughs> Twist my arm. Now, Nick, is that surprising for you that Ashley actually suggested something like that? Yeah, that's not like Ashley to go to a strip club. She thinks they're all whores and... Uh... <laughs> hey, but it was interesting. It was an interesting night. Yeah. And, and, and Ashley, how was your experience to the strip club? It, it was wild. Um, yeah, we were having a good time. We were sitting in the front, and when a girl, like, started coming on to me, Brandon thought it was the best thing ever. Yeah. He's like... Yeah. <laughs> She came off the stage and shook my hand and met me and told me I had the nicest butt she ever saw. I was like, Wow. <laughs> okay. And Brandon, I understand oh, Ashley God. gave you a little surprise at the strip club. Yeah, what was she, that? Uh, she got me a lap dance and uh, told me she wanted to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet she had to force that on you, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, so she, she watched and uh, the lady gave me a lap dance and uh, got a little hot. It took me about five minutes to get up out of that seat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, and Ashley, what about when you ended the night? Did you give him a little lap dance goodbye? No, he walked me in my car and gave me a nice hug. Oh. Okay. And it ended there? And Brandon, what about you? Were you hoping for just maybe a hoping, little more? I was hoping for a little more, a little kiss, but uh, maybe oh, that'll happen sorry. next time. Yeah. <laughs> next time, we'll see if there's gonna be a next time. Was Brandon able to strip away Ashley's feelings for Nick? We're gonna find out when we get those final decisions. Stay tuned. <laughs> with Nick and Ashley. Now, Nick's going to be going away to college again soon, and they both want to make sure that this relationship is worth the long distance. So let's find out what they've decided. Ashley, we're going to get your decision first. You guys have been together for six months, a little bit of time invested here. But we sent you out with Brandon. You guys had a really wild time, ended up at a strip club, lap dances and everything. What's your decision? I decided to stay together. Stay together. Brandon, sorry. And why is that, Ashley? I thought it'd be really easy, actually, to go on a date with somebody, you know, hold his hand, kiss him goodnight, but it wasn't, and so that tells me what I have with Nick. All right, so you're hoping that he decides the same thing. Let's find out. Nick, she wants to stay with you, obviously. You came here to test the relationship and see if you could survive a long-distance thing. Uh, you went out with Liz. You said she was exactly what you wanted physically. You had a good time, did some touching. In fact, you asked her out for a second date, but she couldn't make it. So what do you say? Um, well, Ashley thinks I'm cocky, and... Well, I think she's the best, so um, I really care about her, and I think the long distance thing will work, so I'm gonna stay together. Oh, yeah. Stay together! All right, Liz, sorry things didn't work out. All right, Ashley, Nick, hopefully it's worth the trouble of the long distance. Hang in there, things will be okay for you. That's our show for today. Thanks to Liz and Brandon, and good luck to Nick and Ashley. See you next time on Change of Heart. Nick and Ashley vowed to stay together, but. I knew he called her again. And Elizabeth paged Nick three times since the show. He seems like a little bit of a player. Brandon, sure, they're headed in different directions. I have no belief that in long distance relationship will work. But so far, Nick and Ashley's long distance romance has stood the test of time.